Themistocles was an Athenian politician and general. He was one of a new breed of non-aristocratic politicians who rose to prominence in the early years of the Athenian democracy. As a politician, Themistocles was a populist, having the support of lower-class Athenians, and generally being at odds with the Athenian nobility. Elected Archon in 493 BC, he convinced the polis to increase the naval power of Athens, a recurring theme in his political career. In the years after Marathon, and in the run-up to the Second Persian Invasion, he became the most prominent politician in Athens. He continued to advocate a strong Athenian navy, and in 483 BC he persuaded the Athenians to build a fleet of 200 triremes. These would prove crucial in the forthcoming conflict with Persia. During the second invasion, he was in effective command of the Greek allied navy at the battles of Artemisium and Salamis. Due to subterfuge on the part of the Mystocles, the Allies lured the Persian fleet into the Straits of Salamis, and the decisive Greek victory there was the turning point in the invasion, which ended the following year by the defeat of the Persians at the land battle of Plataea. After the conflict ended, the Mystocles continued to be preeminent among Athenian politicians. However, he aroused the hostility of Sparta by ordering Athens to be refortified, and his perceived arrogance began to alienate him from the Athenians. In 472 or 471 BC, he was ostracized and went into exile in Argos. The Spartans now saw an opportunity to destroy the Mystocles and implicated him in the treasonous plot of their own general Pausanias. Themistocles thus fled from Greece and was temporarily given sanctuary by Alexander I of Macedon at Pydna before travelling to Asia Minor, where he entered the service of the Persian king Artaxerxes I. He was made governor of Magnesia and lived there for the rest of his life. Themistocles died in 459 BC, probably of natural causes. Themistocles' reputation was posthumously rehabilitated, and he was re-established as a hero of the Athenian cause. Themistocles can still reasonably be thought of as the man most instrumental in achieving the salvation of Greece from the Persian threat. As Plutarch describes him, his naval policies would have a lasting impact on Athens as well, since maritime power became the cornerstone of the Athenian Empire and Golden Age. It was Thucydides's judgment that Themistocles was a man who exhibited the most indubitable signs of genius, indeed. In this particular he has a claim on our admiration quite extraordinary and unparalleled. Family Themistocles was born in Athens around 524 BC, the son of Neocles, who was, in the words of Plutarch, no very conspicuous man. His mother is more obscure, according to Plutarch, she was either a Thracian woman called Abrotanon, or Euterpe, a Carian from Halicarnassus. Like many contemporaries, little is known of his early years. Some authors report that he was unruly as a child and was consequently disowned by his father. Plutarch considers this to be false. Plutarch indicates that, on account of his mother's background, Themistocles was considered something of an outsider. Furthermore, the family appear to have lived in an immigrant district of Athens, Sinusages, outside the city walls. However, in an early example of his cunning, the Mystocles persuaded, well-born, children to exercise with him in sinusages, thus breaking down the distinction between alien and legitimate. Plutarch further reports that the Mystocles was preoccupied, even as a child, with preparing for public life. His teacher is said to have told him, My boy, you will be nothing insignificant, but definitely something great, either for good or evil. The Mystocles left three sons by Archippa, daughter to Lysander of Alapiche, Archeptilus, Polyoctus, and Cleophantus. Plato the philosopher mentions Cleophantus as a most excellent horseman, but otherwise insignificant person, and the Mystocles had two sons older than these three, Neocles and Diocles. Neocles died when he was young by the bite of a horse, and Diocles was adopted by his grandfather, Lysander. 
Themistocles had many daughters, of whom Nicetolomae, whom he had by a second marriage, was wife to Archepsilis, her brother by another mother, and became priestess of Cybele. Italia was married to Panthoidus, of the island of Chios, Sybarized to Nicomede the Athenian. After the death of Themistocles, his nephew, Phrasicles, went to Magnesia, and married, with her brother's consent, another daughter, Nicomish and took charge of her sister Asia, the youngest of all ten children.